Okay, what is going on, everybody? It is Justin, your guide into the other side, Ape Chain, Yuga Labs. There's a couple of announcements uh, for this week that are pretty high profile, high impact. So we're going to go over everything. I have a lot of tabs at the top. That probably means there's going to be a video where you kind of, where you're going to want to strap in. Um, obviously, we're going to start with the meat of the uh, the sandwich here. We're going to start with Other Side Meta and Project Dragon. And then we're going to go into uh, <laughs> this funny interaction between Finn and Karka. Uh, and then we're also going to talk about the Pixel Vault and Reboot GG uh, dropping into other side for some infrastructure and I guess skill based wagering. I, I have too many tabs open, but we're going to go over what Garga explained is happening, as well as what Gfung is talking about, uh, as well as what Reboot is going to explain. And we're going to try to explain it all in this video. But also, Ape Chain uh, is literally, <laughs> the website is now live. Uh, and the only thing that's on here is a Telegram group chat. So by all means, you could probably get information there. But we're going to go over all of this in just a moment. So let's start with other side, right? Okay, Project Dragon, the date has been announced. Finally, thank God. I was like, when are we going to get the date, bros? And I am liking the new the new logo on the top. It looks very Y2K. Uh, I like the logo, Prize Dragon with a TM. The, there's a DN. That's that, okay. That's a DN. That's a DN, not a TM. Anyways, it is on July 27th, 2024, at noon Eastern time. So uh, literally the last Saturday of July. So you guys can you guys have technically have two weeks to call off six. So def definitely go do that. Um, <laughs> But, um, yeah, wow, we're going to finally drop in and, and shoot each other. A Aqua versus Orange it is about to go down. So, uh, you guys already know, definitely mark your calendars for that. Me bits, apes, you'll probably be able to wear those, and, of course, the Voyager skins as well. So, Me bits, Voyagers, Codas, Bored Apes, Mutant Apes, uh, the Kennel Club, Grailed, Moonbirds, Codamaras, and Heavies can all attend. More information to come. So, we are still waiting for more information. I'm sure we'll <laughs> get more as time goes on. But there's also a lot more news to cover uh, today. Um, I'm gonna, okay, so, okay, we already went over other side. We get, we know the date, that's fine. We're just waiting, uh, just two weeks of suffering. <laughs> but let's move into the other news, high profile news of the day, where you get announced. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I was just dying when I saw this interaction between uh, Finron. Uh, I know he was just joking. I, I hope he was joking. <laughs> Anyways, I like to wager on other side meta never actually launching. How can I do this with this new platform? And Yuga um, posted, other side is preparing for its next odyssey. Yuga is now par in, to part, proud to partner with Pixel Vault to bring skill-based wagering to other side meta and other products via Reboot GG. So that's pretty cool, but I saw this interaction on my timeline where Garg was like, step one is sucking my dick. What am I looking at on my timeline, bro? Okay, okay, jokes aside, let's kind of go over the news. Very pretty, pretty fun interaction here, but... Let's kind of break it down. So, other side is preparing for its next Odyssey. Yuga is proud to partner with Pixel Vault. So, um, we're, so they're the creators of Play Battle Plan, Punk's Comics, Meta Hero uh, uh, underscore PV, building crossroads of NFTs, DeFi, and gaming. Um, so, we'll have to break that down in some point in the future here. I do remember actually playing Play Battle Plan. That's actually in one of my prior videos in the Arbitrum Arcade. So, you can check that out if, if that's something you want to play but to okay so what are they doing they're bringing skill-based wagering to other side meta and other future products via reboot gg so skill-based wagering is definitely that's pretty interesting like how will that work interesting I, i'm guessing that's why they dropped a gigantic thread on uh, gfunk and, and garga both explained it both and then we'll kind of go over the reboot thread as well. This is, good. This is, uh, this is a lot of information. So, so, as part of this partnership, the reboot protocol will be migrating to ApeChain. So, again, ApeChain is at the center of discussion right now because ApeChain is now live. Well, at least the, 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 the testnet, Curtis, is now live. Um, and this opens up new crypto primitives, not just for other side, but to other third-party developers on the chain as well. So it seems like we're getting a lot of um, migrations um, from platforms to ape chain. So that is definitely going to be interesting to see. But let's kind of see um, what Garga said about it. So he said, stoked to share that we partnered a deep partnership with the friends at Pixel Vault. 
This time we're bringing the reboot protocol onto ApeChain so it can be used for other side and other products we've got in the hopper. So what does that mean? So for those who don't know it, Reboot is a protocol for enabling cash and crypto based rewards for skill based games. So cash and crypto based rewards for skill based games. Very interesting. Very curious how that will play out. Imagine ba I just bit my tongue. Oh my God. Imagine battle royale experiences where different players and teams are wagering on who will be the eventual winner. Okay, I got I, this is my first time reading this. So I got a double take. What? Imagine battle royale experiences where different players and teams are wagering on who will be the eventual winner. Yo. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, people are gonna be able to go long short aqua versus orange. That's very funny. <laughs> That, that that's how, that's that's what I'm seeing emerge right now. Or wagering. Okay, there's another sentence here. So wagering added to the TCG tournaments or other skill-based on-chain games. Ooh, the possibilities are endless. So it seems like there's a lot of flexibility here without the chain can be how reboot can be used as a protocol um, to enable all these types of rewards and just I guess mechanics. Um, as we head into this next chapter of other side, enabling a first of its kind action gameplay with unheard of concurrency, 3000 players in a team fight and other insanity, integrating the protocol with other side just makes sense. So we're working together to make sure reboot can be used in Yuga developed experiences, but in also, UGC created ones via the other side development kit. Ooh, very interesting. Curious how people are going to put that together, especially build it. So Reboot is also its own permissionless protocol, so it will also be available to other third parties, devs building on ApeChain. So I have tremendous respect for Gfunkera86, everything that he and the PV team have built. And Stoke 2, just as part of this Pixel Vault flagship game, Battle Plan will be joining us on Ape Chain. So, uh, we got another announcement that Battle Plan is now coming to Ape Chain, which kind of makes sense cuz I think it's I think it is on Arbitrum, so I mean, I, I don't know how like that's probably compatible. <laughs> Anyways, he said it's happening, so let's get it. Uh yeah, wow, okay. Uh okay. What about the next thread? Let's kind of go through the explanation of what G Funkero was talking about. So he is the CEO of Pixel Vault, Punks Comics, Meta Heroes PV, Play Battle Plan, Wolf Dot Game, and a builder on Reboot GG. So he made a big thread, a big thread that we're going to try to break down and explain, and then we'll kind of go over the big thread. Okay, not the big thread, but the fucking thread on Reboot. <laughs> And then we'll just wrap it up with Ape Chain and kind of talking about how you can keep an eye on the news. But anyways, let's get into the reading part. Threat. I strongly believe that today's announcement marks a 1 plus 1 equals 3 moment. Pixel Vault has excelled on the technical front, and Board Ape Yacht Club has excelled in brand, intellectual property, and community. Together, sky is the limit. So when CryptoGarga outlined the three pillars for Yuga, uh, Yuga's future, number three hit different. Degen shit. Gasoline port at number one and number two. I thought to myself, just hand me the match and watch Reboot cook. So, PV has endured many battles to arrive here today. Three years later, and I messed up the thread. Oh my god. So, let's try to find this back, and we're not going to click on it. So, he said, PV has endured many battles to arrive here today. Three years later, featuring some epic wins and losses. The path has not been easy. Survive and adapt. Pivoting. Among those whose visions, passions, and grind I respect most is Garga. So there are many people in crypto that make a bag and go fuck off, never to be seen again. Not him. I don't know his personal finances, but he certainly didn't have to retake the reins as the CEO of Yuga Labs. He came back facing mountains to climb because he actually cares. So while crypto has provided many of us with amazing opportunities, the work is incredibly difficult. He said it best when he characterized it as eating shit sandwiches. Yes. It is incredibly, it is also incredibly rewarding to deliver for those that have put their faith in your team. And so, in the words of Jensen Huang, as entrepreneurs, we must wake up every day with a clean slate, forgetting the troubles of yesterday and looking forward to the future with renewed energy and ask ourselves, how hard can it be? So, I actually want to pause right here. This Jensen Huang clip, if he got asked, <laughs> If he was 30 to go, it, it, Jensen, okay, the interviewers were like, would you, if you had to go start NVIDIA again, would you do it? And Jensen Wong was like, 
Hell no, I wouldn't do that. It's you know how much sacrifice it took me to get here, how much pain and suffering, and how just because I asked how hard can it be to solve problems? Yeah, it's freaking hard. <laughs> but that's a golden clip. Like if you guys want to pause this video and check out that, if you just search up Jensen Huang, would you start again on YouTube? I definitely recommend you go watch that because that's that's such a god tier clip. But anyways, uh just to resume, our history together is long. We go we broke ground together when a with our Adidas deals. Now together we we tackle bringing Web3 gaming to the masses, approachable with a degen twist that attracted so many to crypto in the first place. So, Pixel Vault X Yuga X Reboot X Ape Coin. So, what is Reboot? He kind of breaks it down here. He says, it's a skill-based wagering platform that will be given the chance to shine on ApeChain, flexing the board API club by P, powering the likes of other side meta and more. Combine that with PV hits uh, PV hits game play a battle plan now with more visibility we're really cooking with gas so again the opportunity is unique triple a gaming type experiences and other side meeting skill-based wagering via reboot if we execute there's some magic here so again this goes far beyond pixel vault and yuga labs commitment to the reboot protocol we will be empowering other developers to leverage a suit of a suite of tools to uh, allow for compliant skill-based wagering for any game our good friend Trimper's NFTs will be the first to join us. So for those wondering how this impacts the tokens, GG will remain the foundation of the protocol and allow users to participate and benefit from core business functionalities of the services. As for gameplay, as for gameplay, ApeCoin and USDC and more will be enabled to ease onboarding with partner uh, Privy.io and pave the way for mobile gaming via app stores, provide utility to participate in communities, right? So we look forward to working with the ApeCoin DAO to further integrate Reboot GG. And ApeCoin ApeChain is just around the corner thanks to Arbitrum, Horizon Labs, Caldera, and the Chads working at the ApeCoin DAO. So I speak for everybody involved in saying that we can't wait to ignite the fire. GG. So pretty massive thread. I will make sure to have all, all these threads in the, the links in the description below. But that kind of goes over the, the integrations that we kind of saw with Garga kind of explaining Pixel Vault as well as Reboot, Reboot GG and what's happening for, you know, kind of the back end of other side, especially when it comes to skill-based wagering, as they say. But Reboot GG also had a pretty uh, close thread here as well, where they said it'll be the foundation of skill-based wagering. You know, kind of, we kind of went over this. Um, as part of this partnership, Ugalize will be acquiring a stake in the reboot protocol via the GG token and will join Pixel Vault in our quest to bring Web3 to the masses, right? So as part of this collaboration, Reboot looks forward to the possibilities of working alongside the DAO and make ApeChain an exciting destination for all game developers, right? So if you want to check out more information related to ApeCoin, ApeChain, Reboot, GG, I will make sure to have all the links in the description. Just keep in mind the new ApeChain website, the Telegram and the Testnet are now live at apechain.com and it'll bring you over here basically the only thing that you'll see is a link to the telegram group chat and we're just kind of waiting for the uh the blueprint which is coming soon but as always you guys know what to do hit that freaking like and subscribe button it's been a massive news day there's been a lot of information it'll all be down there in the description <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one peace